Happy Tuesday and welcome to my Trello Tuesday video on how to customize the background of your board so that each one of your boards are more personalized and customized to your liking and relate to each individual board too. So you can change the background for each individual board. They do not all have to be the same background. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to go about doing that. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share a little bonus with you. So don't forget to stay tuned to the end of this video. So the one thing that I really love about Trello is that it is so visually appealing compared to any of the other project management systems that I use, that it makes me actually excited to want to work in Trello. And so one way to be able to, you know, get excitement and get you visually wanting to be in the system is by creating customized backgrounds or just using colored backgrounds as well, just so that you can identify when you see on your overview board, uh, uh, overview look, you can see easily see which boards are which just by the backgrounds of the boards. So we're gonna dive in now to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so we are in my Trello account and you can see here, I just have one board right now and you can easily see from this board, the background um, that I've customized for this board. Now I'm actually going to just create a brand new board so you can see how you can go about creating a customized kind of background similar to this. So we're just going to go to create new board here now, you can choose from one of these options here when you first start out. Um, I just find it easier to just use whatever they select initially. You can actually click on this little icon here and you can actually go through and, you know, search the board backgrounds here as well. Um, so if you wanted to do a planning type of background, you can just select one of these here and just go from there. I personally, let's say this is our, um, let's just say goal planning. I personally like to actually do this from inside the board because then once you click on the individual pictures, you can actually see the images being displayed in the background here. So you can easily see which ones you like and don't like. So let's show you now how to do it from the board. So if we go into the from the menu, if for some reason your menu doesn't open when you create the board or when you go into a board, you can just click on this little icon that says show menu here. And let's go to where it says change background. Now, if you just want a simple color, you can click on the colors and you can just choose one of these simple colors. So let's choose purple. So you can just have a purple background for the board and I can show you. Let's just go to the main screen. So to get back to your your dashboard or your main view, you can just click on the Trello option and you can easily see that the purple is going to be our goal planning board. Now, if that's something that you like, then you can just simply use colors as opposed to actual images. But if you would prefer to have an image, you can go back into the board that we just created, go to where it says show menu again, go to where it says change background and you can actually click on the photo section and then again, you can so search in here. So let's try planning again in here. And so what I was mentioning before, if I click on this, you can actually see it shown up, showing up on here. And so I can just click on the different options and see them all showing up in this section or in the board background itself. So I personally just like to do it from this perspective because then I can see, is it too cluttered at the top? Personally for me, I just don't like it being too cluttered up here so that I can't see like the name of the board. But again, that's just my personal preference. So I might go through some of these and see, you know, which one is better for me and just, you know, select one of these. So let's say this one is the one I select. So that is how to go about, easily go about just updating your board background. Now, if you have a upgraded version, so if you have either, um, I think it's Trello Gold or Trello Business, you can actually upload a customized background for your boards. So you could create a customized background um, maybe within Canva and then upload it to your board background here so that each one is customized 
maybe to your business or to different aspects of your business. So that's how you can easily go through and customize your board backgrounds so that each one of your boards has a specific individual background so that when you're looking at your boards, you can easily see, you know, you could, you could probably remember which image is related to which board when you start to use them more and more. So that's how you can easily identify the boards as well. So hopefully that was helpful. So hopefully that was beneficial for you if you were looking to create more kind of customized settings for your Trello account so that it is a little bit more visually appealing when you first open up your you know, account and when you dive into your boards as well. And I wanted to let you know that if you're interested, I'm going to link at the top uh, my Trello tutorial series if you wanted to go through that. However, if you don't want to watch all those videos, I have actually put together a bonus for you. It is free. You can check it out in the descriptions below. This description section below, it is a comprehensive guide to Trello. It's going to walk you through how to set up a board. It's going to give you the overview of Trello and it's going to give you details on how to utilize your individual cards within your Trello board so that you can maximize your use of Trello and that it's more beneficial for you as well. So don't forget to check out that link in the description section below and hopefully you find that helpful and I will see you next time on the next Trello Tuesday video.